हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल रिजॉइस एजुकेशन हम एथ स्टैंडर्ड सी बी एस ई के फर्स्ट चैप्टर के क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स पे हैं स्टेट वेदर ट्रू और फॉल्स जेम्स मिल डिवाइडेड इंडियन हिस्ट्री इन टू थ्री पीरियड्स हिंदू मुस्लिम क्रिश्चियन द आंसर इज फॉल्स ऑफिशियल डॉक्यूमेंट्स हेल्प अस अंडरस्टैंड वॉट पीपल इन द कंट्री थिंक फॉल्स द ब्रिटिश थाट थ्रू सर्वेज वर इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर इफेक्टिव एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ट्रू Let's discuss what is the problem with the periodization of Indian history that James Mill offers. क्या problem था periodization Indian history में जो James Mill ने offer किया था James Mill divided Indian history into three periods: Hindu, Muslim, and British. This periodization had its own problems. उनके खुद के problems थे It is difficult to refer to any period of history as Hindu or Muslim because a variety of faiths existed simultaneously in these periods. It is also not justified to characterize an age through the religion of the rulers of the time. What it suggests is that the lives and practices of others do not really matter. It is worth mentioning that even rulers in the ancient India did not share the same faith. Question number four: Why did the British preserve official documents? The British believed that by preserving official documents it would be easier for them or any other persons to know about the decisions taken in the past. One can study the notes and reports that were prepared in the past. Their copies may be prepared and used in the present time if needed so. Question number 5 How will the information historians get from old newspapers be different from the that found in police reports? The information printed in newspapers are usually affected by the views and opinions of the reporters, news editors, etc. But what historians find in police reports are usually true and realistic. Usme sachai zada hoti hai students. Chapter number two. हम मैच द फॉलोइंग ले रहे हैं स्टूडेंट्स सो ये क्वेश्चन दिए हैं आपको इसको सही से आपको मैच करना है सो दिवानी राइट टू कलेक्ट रैंड रेवेन्यू टाइगर ऑफ मैसूर टीपू सुल्तान फौजदारी अदालत क्रिमिनल कोर्ट राम चन्नम्मा लेड एन एंटी ब्रिटिश मूवमेंट इन कितूर सिपाही सिपॉय फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स दिया है स्टूडेंट्स इसके आंसर्स भी आपको दिए गए हैं द ब्रिटिश कॉन्क्वेस्ट ऑफ बंगाल बिगेन विद द बैटल ऑफ प्लासी हैदर अली एंड टीपू सुल्तान व द रूलर ऑफ मैसूर दाल हाउजी इम्प्लीमेंटेड द डॉक्ट्राइन ऑफ लैप्स Maratha kingdoms were located mainly in the western part of India. State whether the following statements are true or false. The Mughal Empire became stronger in the 18th century. False. The English East India Company was the only European company that traded with India. False. Maharaja Ranjit Singh was the ruler of Punjab. True. The British did not introduce administrative changes in the territories they conquered. False. Let's discuss what attracted European trading companies to India. Answer is A the fine quality of cotton and silk products in India. B Indian spices such as pepper, cloves, cardamom and cinnamon. What were the areas of conflict between the Bengal Nawabs and the East India Company? A the answer is A the Bengal Nawabs asserted their power and autonomy and refused to grant the company concessions. B they demanded large tributes for the company's right to trade C they denied the company any right to mint coins D they stopped the company from extending its fortifications fortifications ka matlab hai expansions E accusing the company to decide they claim that the company was was deny depriving the bengal government of huge amount of revenue and undermining the authority of the authority of the nawab It was refusing to pay taxes, writing disrespectful letters, and trying to humiliate the Nawab and his officials. These were the areas of conflict between the Bengal Nawabs and the East India Company. Question number six: How did the assumption of Diwani benefit the East India Company? Answer: The Mughal Emperor in 1765 appointed the company as the Diwan of the provinces of Bengal. The Diwani allowed the company to exploit the vast revenue resources of Bengal. This solved a major problem that the company had earlier faced. Although its trade has expanded, it had to buy most of the goods in India with gold and silver imported from Britain. 
गोल्ड और सिल्वर इम्पोर्ट हुआ करता था ब्रिटेन से स्टूडेंट्स द ओवरफ्लो ऑफ गोल्ड फ्रॉम ब्रिटेन स्टॉप्ड आफ्टर द अजम्पन ऑफ दिवानी नाउ रेवेन्यू फ्रॉम इंडिया कोड फाइनेंस कंपनी एक्सपेंसिस दीज रेवेन्यूज दे यूज टू परचेज कॉटन एंड सिल्क टेक्सटाइल्स इन इंडिया मेनटेन कंपनी ट्रूप्स एंड मेड द कॉस्ट ऑफ बिल्डिंग्स द कंपनी फोर्ट एंड ऑफिस एट कैलकता एक्सप्लेन द सिस्टम ऑफ सब्सिडरी अलायंस सब्सिडरी अलायंस का मतलब क्या है अंडर द सिस्टम ऑफ सब्सिडरी अलायंस इंडियन रूलर्स व नॉट अलाउड टू हैव देयर इंडिपेंडेंट आर्म फोर्सेज उनके खुद के आर्म फोर्सेज अलाउड नहीं थे दे वॉर टू प्रोटेक्ट बाई द कंपनी बट हैड टू पे फॉर द सब्सिडरी फोर्सेज द कंपनी वॉज सपोज टू मेनटेन फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ दिस प्रोटेक्शन उन्हें सब्सिडरी फोर्सेज देने पड़ते थे If the Indian rulers failed to make the payment, the part of their territory was taken away as penalty. उनके territory उनसे छीन ली जाती थी. The state, which had to lose, the states which had to lose their territories on this uh, on this ground were other than Hyderabad. Question number eight. In what way was the administration of the company different from that Indian rulers? The administration of the company was different from that of the Indian rulers in the following ways. A the company divided its administrative units called presidencies there were three presidencies bengal madras and bombay in india districts were the main administrative units B each presidency was ruled by the governor districts were ruled by the collectors C the supreme head of the administration of the company was the governor general but in india the head of the administration was the king D the main job of the governor general was to introduce administrative reforms while the main job of the collector was to collect revenue and taxes and maintain law and order in his district Question number 9 describe the changes that occurred in the composition of company's army several changes occurred in the composition of the company's army A the company began recruitment for its own army which came to be known as the sepoy army B as the warfare technology changed from the 1820s the cavalry recruitments of the company's army declined C the soldiers of the company's army had to keep pace with the changing military requirements and its infantry regiments now became more important D in the early 19th century the british began to develop a uniform military culture soldiers were increasingly subjected to european style training drill and discipline that regulated their life for more than before ओके okay, स्टूडेंट्स अब हम चैप्टर थ्री पे हैं लेट्स रिकॉल मैच द फॉलोइंग यहाँ पे रायत पीजेंट है महल विलेज निच कल्टीवेशन ऑन प्लांटर्स ओन लैंड प्लानर्स ओन लैंड रॉयती कल्टीवेशन ऑन रॉयतीज लैंड्स फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स आइए देखते हैं फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स के आंसर्स क्या है स्टूडेंट्स ए ग्रोवर्स ऑफ वोड इन यूरोप सो इंडिगो एज अ क्रॉप विच वुड प्रोवाइड कॉम्पिटिशन टू देयर अर्निंग्स The demand for indigo increased in late 18th century Britain because of industrialization. The international demand for indigo was affected by the discovery of synthetic dyes. The Champaran movement was against indigo planters. Let's discuss describe the main features of the permanent settlement. The main features of the permanent settlement were first point the amount of revenue was fixed permanently that is it was not to be increased in ever in future amount kya tha revenue ka fixed tha students it was felt that this would ensure a regular flow of revenue into the company coffers and at the same time encourage the zamindars to invest in improving the land since the revenue demand of the state would not be increased the zamindars would benefit from increased production from the land Under this system revenue had been fixed so high that the zamindars found it difficult to pay even when the income of zamindars increased with the expansion of cultivation the company had no chance of gain because it could not increase the revenue demand that had been fixed permanently the system provide of pressure for the cultivators question number 4 how was the uh, malwari system different from the permanent settlement mahalwari under the permanent settlement of rates of revenue was fixed permanently and it was not to be increased ever in future but in the mahalwari system it was decided that the rate of revenue would be revised periodically revised any change hota rahega not permanently fixed under the permanent settlement the zamindars were given by charge the charge collecting revenue from the peasants and paying it to the company but in the mahalwari system this charge was given to the village headman 
give two problems which arouse with the new mundro system of fixing revenue answer two problems revenue officials fixed a very high revenue demand and peasants were unable to pay it second jots uh, fled the countryside and villages became deserted in many regions so why were jots re reluctant to grow indigo kya kyun unko indigo grow nahi karna tha answer uh, the planters usually forced the ryots to sign a contract those who signed the contract got cash advance from the planters at lower rates of interest to produce indigo but the loan committed the ryots to cultivating indigo on at least 25% of the area under his holding the planter provided the seed and the drill while cultivators prepared the soil sowed the seed and looked after the crop when the crop was delivered to the planter after the harvest the ryots got another new loan in this way they were tapped in the cycle of loan from which it was difficult to come out soon they realized that this was a harsh system they did hard labor day and night and got a very low price for the indigo they produced other reason was that the planters usually pressurize the ryots to cultivate indigo on the best soils acche soil pe hi unhe cultivate karne bolte the but the ryots prefer to grow rice on these soils indigo had deeply deep roots and it exhausts the soil rapidly after an indigo harvest the land could not be used for rice cultivation ओके स्टूडेंट्स अब हम चैप्टर नंबर फोर के क्वेश्चन आंसर्स ले रहे हैं फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स द ब्रिटिश डिस्क्राइब द ट्राइबल पीपल एज सैवेज उन्हें सैवेज बुलाते थे द मेथड्स ऑफ सोविंग सीड्स इन झूम कल्टिवेशन इज नोन एज ब्रॉडकास्ट द ट्राइबल चीव्स गॉट लैंड टाइटल्स इन सेंट्रल इंडिया अंडर द ब्रिटिश लैंड सेटलमेंट्स Tribals went to work in the tea plantations of Assam and the coal mines in Bihar. State whether true or false. Jhum cultivators plow the land and sow seeds. The answer is false. Cocoons were brought from the Santalas and sold by the traders at five times the purchase price. The answer is true. Pirsa urged his followers to purify themselves, give up drinking liquor and stop believing in witchcraft and sorcery. True. The British wanted to preserve the tribal ways of life. False. Let's discuss what problems did shifting cultivators face under British rule? The life of shifting cultivators was directly connected to the forest. So when the British brought changes in the forest laws, their life was badly affected. The British extended their control over all forests and declared that forest was state property. Some forests were classified as reserve forests for their produced timber which the British wanted. In these forests people were not allowed to move freely and practice jhum cultivation. As a result many jhum cultivators had to move to other areas in search of work. Is wajah se unhe move karna padta tha students. How did the powers of tribal chiefs change under colonial rule? The tribal chiefs were important people. They enjoyed a certain amount of economic power and had the right to administer and control their territories. Under the British rule, the functions and powers of these tribal chiefs changed to a greater extent. One, they were allowed to keep their land titles over a cluster of villages and rent out lands. but they lost much of their administrative power and were forced to follow laws made by the british officials in india they had to pay tribute to the british and discipline the tribu tribal groups on behalf of the british they lost the authority they had earlier enjoyed amongst these their people and were unable to fulfill their traditional functions what accounts for the anger of the tribal against the dikus answer the tribals wanted to drive out the dikus missionaries money lenders hindu landlords and the government because they saw them as the cause of their misery the following facts account for their anger against the dikus one the land policies of the british were destroying their traditional land system two hindu landlords and money lenders were taking over their land three missionaries were criticizing their traditional culture question number 6 What was Birsa's vision of golden age? Why do you think such a vision appealed to the people of the region? Birsa was a deeply influenced by many of the idea he came in touch with in his grown up years. The moment that he led aimed at reforming tribal society. He urged the Munda to give up drinking liquor, clean their village and 
स्टॉप मुंडन्स मुंडास वेन दे लिव अ गुड लाइफ कंस्ट्रक्टेड एम्बार्कमेंट्स टैप नेचुरल स्प्रिंग्स प्लांटेड ट्रीज एंड ऑर्किड्स प्रैक्टिस कल्टिवेशन टू अर्न दे आर लिविंग दे डि नॉट किल दे आर बी थ्रिन एंड रिलेटिव दे लिव ऑनेस्टली बीस आर वॉन्टेड टू रिस्टोर दिस ग्लोरियस पास्ट सच अ विजन अपील टू द पीपल ऑफ द रीजन बिकॉज दे वर वेरी मच ईगर टू लीड अ फ्री लाइफ दे हैड गॉड फेड अप विद द कॉलोनियल फॉरेस्ट लॉज एंड द रिस्ट्रिक्शन दैट वर इम्पोज ऑन दैम ओके स्टूडेंट्स अब हम चैप्टर नंबर फाइव के क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स ले रहे हैं What was the demand of Rani Lakshmi Bai of Jhansi that was refused by the British? Rani Lakshmi Bai of Jhansi wanted the company to recognize her adopted son as the heir to the kingdom after the death of her husband, but the British refused the plea. Hey, वो चाहते थे कि उनके adopted son को kingdom का राजा माना जाए उनके husband के बाद लेकिन वो उसे refuse किया गया. What did the British do to protect the interest of those who converted to Christianity? those who converted to christianity would inherited the property of his ancestors what objections did the sepoys have to the new cartridges that were asked to the use the sepoys objected that the new cartridges that they were asked to use were coated with the fat of cows and pigs how did the last mogul emperor live in the last years of his life answer bahadur shah zafar the last mogul emperor lived a very pathetic life during the last years of his life he was a try a uh, tried in court and sentenced to life imprison- imprisonment he and his wife were sent to prison in rangoon he died there after 4 years what could let's discuss what could be the reason for the confidence of the british rulers about their position in india before may 1857 answer the reason are given below one since the mid 18th century nawabs and rajas had gradually lost their authority and honor residents had been stationed in many courts the freedom of the rulers reduced their armed forces disbanded and their revenues and territories taken away by stages the company point number 2 the company decided to end the mughal dynasty in 1849 the government general jali house announced that after the death of bahadur shah zafar the family of the king would be shifted out of the red fort In 1856 governor general Canning decided that Bahadur Shah Zafar would be the last Mughal emperor and after his death his descendants would recognize as prince. Question number 7 what impacted impacted Bahadur Shah Zafar's support to the rebellion have on the people and the ruling families? Answer Bahadur Shah Zafar's support to the rebellion boosted the morale of the people and the ruling families they became united to fight the british authority with double spirit people of the towns and villages rose up in rebellion and railed around local leaders zamindars and chiefs nana saheb the adopted son of the late peshwa baji rao who lived near kanpur gathered armed forces and expelled the british garrison from the city he proclaimed himself peshwa unhe khud ko peshwa bulate the he declared that he was a governor under emperor bahadur shah zafar in lucknow a uh, bridges kadar the son of the deposed deposed nawab wazir ali shah was proclaimed the new nawab he too acknowledged the suzerainty of bahadur shah zafar in jhansi rani lakshmi bai joined the rebel sepoys and fought the british along with tatya tope the general of nana saheb question number 8 How did the British succeeded in securing the submission of the rebel landowners of Awdh? The British succeeded in securing the submission of the rebel landowners of Awdh by providing them inheritance rights. That is they would enjoy the traditional rights over their land. The British also exempted them from taxes. Unhe taxes dene se bhi unhe exempt kiya gaya.